today I'm doing my back to school haul video. I know this might seem kind of late, but I don't go back until like September 4th or 5th. I go back a lot later than a lot of people, but that's because I get out at like the end of June. So, yes. <laughs> I just recently went to New York City. I got back last night. So, the majority of these items were bought in New York City, but I do have a few things that I got before I left that I decided I would show you as well. Okay, the first thing was sent to me, but this is the only thing out of everything that was sent to me. This girl has a website called Urban Studs on Etsy. I will put all the links down in the down bar. But she makes, like, graphic t-shirts, and so she sent me one. And I love, like, sponsoring Etsy stores because I feel like they're just really, like, unrecognized sometimes. So, anyway, she sent me this muscle tee that she made, and it says, free your mind on it in, like, this cool kind of, like, I don't know patterned font and I just think it's really cute and I'm really excited to wear this with like a sweater and some high-waisted shorts so yes she sent me this and I will put all the information to the Etsy shop down below if you're interested. The other stuff I didn't get when I was in New York was just an order from Paxson so the first thing I got was just my backpack for school and it looks like this. It looks a lot like mine from last year if you watched what's in my bag video or whatever Except that one got destroyed. It was from Brandy Melville and it like, it fell apart. So I don't really know if I recommend the one that I had last year. But this one, I really like it. It has lots of compartments and I think it's really cute. Next thing from Paxson, I'm thinking of wearing on the first day of school. It's like this floral little skater skirt thing. Um, these are really popular and I think it's really cute. I also got this little daisy kind of crop top thing. And I got this because the back is super, like, low and, like, you can see your back. So I wanted to wear that one, like, caged bralette from Brandy Melville with it. So, yes. Got this. You guys may or may not know Brandy Melville sells Paxson. Or, what? No. Paxson sells Brandy Melville right now. So I just got this little black skirt that I'm actually going to wear with this for a concert that I'm going to. So that's why I got this. But it's just a sheer little black chiffon skirt. And these I wear like all the time. The last thing I got from Paxson is a flannel. And I'm obsessed with flannels. I wear them all the time, especially in like the winter. I always wear them with like my puffy vests and like scarves and leggings. So I got this one just because I loved the print or just like the colors on it. It's like the perfect flannel. I'm always on the search for the perfect flannel and I think I found it. Um, yeah, this was kind of pricey, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> And the back, it goes down kind of low, so it covers your butt. So you can wear this with leggings. So that's what I got from Paxson. Now on to the stuff that I bought in New York City. I'm going to warn you, literally all this stuff is floral print. Like, almost all of it is floral print. And I didn't do that on purpose. I just really, really like floral print. So, yeah. Okay. First store was Forever 21. And I got this dress. I had to get it in a medium. I'm normally a small, so it's kind of big on me. But I couldn't find it in any other size. And it looks like this. It's like black floral print and it has like kind of a bustier style, like corset style front. And then it just goes down into the dress. So yeah, I like this also because it has padding so you don't have to wear a bra, which is always, you know, a good time. And yeah. Next thing from Forever 21 is super wrinkly because it was in my suitcase. But it looks like this. It's just like this kind of peasant styled top. It has like this crocheted detailing at the top and then it's three quarter length sleeves and it flows out and it has like these little tassel things somewhere here. Here they are. But yeah, I really like this and yeah, it's cute. I went to Lululemon. This honestly is not for back to school. I just kind of got it to work out and I got one of the Lululemon headbands because I'm basic and I want to look cool at the gym so it it's just the black one. It has a little Lululemon sign. And these are great because they have like um, sticky rubber things on the inside so it doesn't slip. And I sweat so much at the gym, especially like right by my hairline. So these are great. Then I went to Urban Outfitters and first thing I got was this tank top. It was on sale. I wanted it before it was on sale, but now it's on sale. And it's just like this crocheted tie-dyed kind of thing. It's kind of weird. Some people might not like it, but I think it's really cool. And the coolest part about this was it was marked down from $49 to $20, and then when I checked out, it was only $9, so <laughs> that was a good thing, so yeah. 
Next thing from Urban Outfitters I almost didn't get because it was really expensive, like all of their stuff. But I really like it and I love dresses for back to school. And just for school in general because they're really comfortable. So I got this one. And I don't know if this is floral or tribal or what, but it's like black and white on the front all the way down. But then the sides are like purple and colorful and just really pretty. The front has some buttons and then some tassels and it's just really, really pretty. And here's the back. But yeah, this is a really pretty dress and it's like really nicely made, so... I guess the price was justifiable. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, next place that I went is Necessary Clothing. You guys might have heard of it if you've been in New York, but it's a store only in New York. And they have really cute stuff, so I got three things. First thing I got was a sweater, and it's like one of those really holy sweaters with like a bunch of holes in it. And I think these are really cute. Some people might think they're dumb, but I like it, and it's just really big. It has like some rips. Hold on, let me. Let me, let me give you a sneak peek. See, you can see it's like ripped a little bit. And it's just really big and comfy and I can't wait to wear this with like leggings and scarves and boots. And I'm just, I'm just excited for the fall clothing. What can I say? Next I got this chiffon top and it's this like neon floral colored thing. But I got it for the back because as you can see it has a little bow. And I've wanted something with like the bow back like this one. And I thought this pattern was super pretty, so I got this one. Next thing I got might be one of my favorite things. It's one of those like kimono tops that are kind of in style now, only it's going to be kind of hard to show. It's this floral print once again, and it has kind of longer sleeves, and it just kind of goes down like a cardigan would. But it's open, and it doesn't have like any buttons or anything. And I don't know, this looks really cute with like ripped up denim shorts and like high waisted and like a, a lacy tank top. I don't know. It's just really cute. And I'm sure I'll be doing a lookbook and I'll, I'll try to put this in it. Okay, last but certainly not least, I went to Brandy Melville. I actually met some subscribers in there, so shout out to you guys for coming up to me. If you ever see me, definitely come up to me. I may look kind of like a bitch, but that's just... You know how my face gets sometimes, but I promise I'm not a bitch. But anyways, thanks for coming up to me, guys. And Brandy Neville was ridiculously packed. It was crazy, and you couldn't even move, and it was really stressful. But I got four things. So the first thing I got was the Giselle top. I have this in white. I wear it, like, every single day. And I wanted this to wear with that, like, floral skater skirt from PacSun. And it's just, you know, the cropped t-shirt. Then I got a pair of pants, which might also be one of my favorite things I got. They are huge floral, like, flared pants that look like this. This looks like a maxi skirt when you're wearing them, but I'm really into, like, the wide leg loose pants like this. I think they're called, like, Palazzo pants or something. I might be wrong, but, yeah, these were amazing, and they're super comfortable, and I can't wait to wear them. And they're high-waisted, so I'm probably going to wear them with that black crop top. Last two things I got were both floral, what a surprise! So I got this floral dress, and it's that super, super soft material that a lot of brandy stuff is in. And it's just floral, and then it kind of goes tight here, and then flows out a little bit. It's really simple, but it's so comfortable. And I love this. I wore it yesterday, and it was, it was great. Last thing I got from brandy, I don't really know if it's a dress or a shirt, I'm not quite sure. I think I could wear it either way, because I'm really short. Um, hmm, I just really, really like the print of it. Floral, haha. <laughs> but it looks like this. It has like a double strap kind of thing going on, and then it's just loose and flowy. I don't know, it looks really shirt like, but it covers my butt and everything. Um, I'll probably end up just wearing it with like leggings and a sweater, but yeah, and then it goes kind of low on the back with the double straps. And yeah, I really like the print of this. This is like my favorite print in there, so. So that was my back to school haul video. Obviously not all of this is for back to school because some of this stuff wouldn't really be appropriate for school, but you know, whatever. I don't really have a dress code in my school anyways, so I'm just going to push the limits. I hope you guys enjoyed this once again. If you do a back to school clothing haul, post it as a video response and I will accept it. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up, 
leave any comments down below that you want to because I read all of them. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fiercely Tasha. So I love you guys. Bye.